Sarah, this uh, interview yesterday and today brings tears to my eyes mm. because I can just envision people listening to us, women probably, mm. maybe some men, but women uh, most certainly uh, have gone through all the things you described except autism. It may mm -hmm. not be autism. It may just be a, a tough-as-nails kid. It, it may be a child who does not succeed in school. It may be other boys and girls that bully mm -hmm. your child. There's a thousand things that can tear the heart out of a mom. Oh, yeah. And uh, you're talking to some of them today. Mm -hmm. I would like you to talk to the Lord right now on behalf of the woman who's there. Lord, we are so glad that you hear us. And uh, Lord, this mom or daddy may be sitting cross-legged on the floor somewhere with a kid who has a cold or who is running a fever. And maybe they've just moved or maybe they're getting ready to move. Maybe they've lost a parent. Maybe their child is struggling in school. Maybe their child is is ill or just has just received a diagnosis, Father. Father, some days surviving parenthood feels like we're, that's all we can do. I don't feel like I have achieved much in this except for the fact that I was faithful in loving them. <laughs> Lord, I just pray that you would reach your hand out to that mom or dad who thinks Man, parenting is tough. It is harder than any job, but it is so rewarding. Father, I pray that you would just put your hand on them. Show them that this great privilege of being a parent, of being a mom, of carrying a life is proof that we have lived and have left something wonderful of yours behind. Lord, I just pray that you would give them peace today. May that mom or dad hear that word of love from you today, and may they be encouraged that they are doing the greatest job ever known. Mm -hmm. We pray these things in your sweet saving name. Amen. Amen.